to defeat the Hun. It says that I'm live right now. Let's see here. I think I am. It doesn't say that I have any going on right now, though. That's what I don't understand. Do I have to, like, click it in the uh, something or other? Hold on. I'm trying to get Periscope going. Clog. Yes, I wanted to say clog. Uh, nobody in here. All right. I promise something will happen soon. I don't even think it's it sent anything out yet, which is crazy. I don't know why it takes forever for this YouTube thing to do anything. Uh, let me look at the Tim Tracker on the old Twitter, and it says that it's live. All right, so maybe some people are in here, but, oh, okay, here we go. Uh, let me click on this guy here, and I'll pause this. There it is, okay, I found you guys. You're all there, yay. Okay, here's the thing that I think is really funny. I wish you guys could see this. But there is, like, right next to us on the YouTube window, like right there on our screen, there's a chat thing. That's like, here's your chat. Nothing ever shows up in it, ever. But then I have to go over here to, and I open up another window to the side of us, and I bring in, uh, like, I'm, like I'm watching it on YouTube, but I pause ourselves, and then all of a sudden I can see everybody's, everybody's talking. What? So... It's bizarre, and I don't know why it so wait, doesn't this, like that. So this screen is live, but just on... Yeah, like, this is what they can see while they're watching us. Okay. So, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to get it, like, lined up correctly. Hi! <laughs> <clears throat> All right. So, and I'm sorry, but everybody is going to be a little bit delayed on the YouTube. I'm going to start up the Periscope now. Are you going to do a Periscope again? Yeah. Because that's, that's a little bit quicker, I think. Hmm. Although it is definitely harder to watch everything. But I'm going to put the periscope down here so it's not going to be as weird for us, like, looking over here, looking over here, uh, looking okay, over okay. here. Yeah, because last time it was like, what? Is... And then I had to show it to both things, and then I would forget. Yeah, so it'll be like this. <clears throat> okay. Uh, but I need to... I'm going to start the broadcast and then flip it around. There it is. All right. So now we've got like so many things happening, which is crazy. <clears throat> oh, what? a permit just got filed for NBA uh, City at Universal. Hey, everybody on Periscope. Hey, everybody on YouTube. Hi. Welcome to our live mail vlog. Yay. So wait, I've always wondered this about Periscope. Why are the hearts all different colors? It depends on like, I think. Like, does it correspond to this color that's here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. like if I, I don't know if I can do it, but if, uh, if I did it, I think it would be like blue. Okay, okay. So, oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, thank <coughs> you. Thoughts on Terminator. Which the, Terminator? The movie or the ride? I don't know. Who's... Heart color red. Yeah, it does match up with you guys. That's awesome. Who's uh, who's who's all in here? Shout huh. out to everybody in here. <laughs> so, yeah, it seems like YouTube's not doing so good. I don't know. With like with the live with the live streaming. Oh shoot! Okay. So, oh well. Mm, well. Hi everybody. Yeah, I'm glad you guys showed up and like came to hang out. And see, and this is one of the things people are always like, "Why do you like Periscope so much?" Because right now there are 207 people on Periscope. And 51 on YouTube because too many people Aww. are having a hard time getting onto the YouTube thing. You guys are so nice. Yeah. We love you guys too. Oh, I love it. Uh, mm. So here's the way that it works. I've got Periscope open. I've got the YouTube open. And I've got Twitter open. And we will be able to read you guys some mail and answer some questions. Yeah. All right. So let's get started. We let's have a, get down we the have business. A, a few uh, postcards. Let's see here. This first one is from Kelsey, and she's from Georgia, which this is a, a nice Georgia postcard. And it says, hello, from the Peach State. I just wanted to send a postcard about all about Georgia. Y'all should come visit. We have Stone Mountain, which we actually had yeah. uh, our one-year anniversary at Stone Mountain. Was it? Our one-year dating anniversary was at Stone Aww. Mountain. 
I forget which day it was. Yeah. We uh, really had a good time, though. We went camping um, for the weekend, I think. And I think yeah. we also went to Six Flags over Georgia. Not the same trip, but we did no. go to Six Flags over Georgia. We did the magic mountain thing, then, because that's where we have our picture on that wooden roller coaster. Yeah. Here, I'll show you guys that. Yeah, we went we, to Valdosta. It was like our first uh, like sleepaway trip together, basically. Yeah. And this was on a roller coaster called the Hurricane. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. Like, look at me all kissing up on Jen. Stop. Ooh, <laughs> kissing up on Jen. Ooh. That was, we were like, that was like 12 years ago or something crazy. Yeah. I wish we were vlogging though, because I wish that yeah. like, I don't, I don't, I don't remember uh, the rest of the park. I just remember that. That was a wooden roller coaster and Jen hates wooden roller coasters too. Well, I just, they're kind of like, they're kind of scary, I guess, because I just trust metal more, which I don't know if I should or yeah, not. But... <laughs> trust metal. Cha -cha -cha. So, yeah, so there's that. But, yay, we love Georgia. Yeah, oh, well, uh, and she says that she's coming to Disney in November, and she's hoping to see us. Very cool. Love, Kelsey. Awesome. Yay. Thank you so much. I wonder, look, there's Stone Mountain right there. That's that's Stone Mountain right there. It's, it's got, like, like, a relief carving on the outside of it's it. It's sort of like a little tiny, like, mini Mount Rushmore in a way. I mean, it's not anything like Mount Rushmore, but it's kind of like it. Yeah, and but, here's here's downtown Atlanta. Yeah. Trying to send this is the, like, whatever the, the Atlanta dome is. Mm-hmm. All right, thanks, Kelsey. Yay, and now this next one, look at this, it's so cool. It's, like, one of those uh, lent lenticular? Is that oh, what they're yeah. called? Yeah. Where, like, the fireworks go? That's pretty sweet. I love it. Yeah, it's so neat. And so this one is from Amber. She said, if you're receiving this, know it was sent through the Magic Kingdom mailbox. Your videos, oh, love your videos and hope to meet you one day. P.S. I'm in Animal Kingdom. And then she drew like a little picture of like the Tree of Life. Um, but this is so cool. So Amber was actually like on vacation in the in Animal Kingdom, but then got this awesome postcard and mailed it from Magic Kingdom, from the actual mailbox in Magic Kingdom. In case you guys didn't know, there is an actual mailbox in Magic Kingdom that you can mail stuff out. Yeah, so neat. So yeah, thank you, Amber. I love this. This is like the coolest postcard. Yay! Uh, let's see here. This next one is from. I couldn't read her name. Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't know if I can read it either. I think maybe it says Celia from Falls Church, Virginia. Anyways, she says, thanks for always brightening my day. Keep up the good work. Oh, thank you. And she sent Vincent it's, Van Dog. It's actually a really funny, um, really funny postcard. I like it. It's Vincent Van Dog. Vincent Van Dog. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go with, thank you. with Celia. Maybe, I don't know. I can't, I can't tell. Maybe you guys can help us. Yeah. What do you think? Oh, no. It's hard to tell. Maybe Olivia? Olivia? I don't know. It looks like it ends in an S. Ooh, somebody says hi from Paris. Hi. Wow. Where do somebody you see, says where do you somebody see them? in the YouTube. Somebody says hello from Montreal. Oh, oh my do gosh. Do they speak French in Montreal? Scotland and I think they do, maybe. You maybe guys they should can talk talk French to each other. Oh, that's funny. Thank you guys so much for watching the live mail blog. I see a lot of comments that say these are um, first timers to the live mail blog. That's awesome. Thank you guys yeah. for coming. Oh no, my my Twitter is covering up a little bit of the YouTube comments, so let me, let me rearrange again. Oh no, they say Twitter is really far behind. Twitter is really far Sorry. behind? That's what they say. Who? On here Who? on Periscope, because they're like, you guys on Periscope are like, like right on. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Dang. And then the people on, on YouTube are far behind. They're like, 30, 45 seconds well, behind. I saw the it reason, But the reason why we don't just do it on Periscope and we also do a YouTube video is because um, Periscope only only saves for a day. So if you didn't, what, right? Yeah, yeah, So if like you if you it. didn't, yeah, if you miss it and you need to watch it, YouTube is the way to do it. You won't be able to like add to the comments, I don't think. Or can no, you? you can leave a comment, like a normal video comment. But you won't be like on time with the comments that we're like talking about. Right. But, but right. yeah, so, so YouTube is good for like that reason. But yeah, so the next postcard we have here is from Santa Fe, New Mexico. And it looks like for like a split second, because we were just talking about Paris, I thought I saw the Eiffel Tower. It's not the Eiffel Tower, but there's Santa Fe, New Mexico. Um, this one is from Annie. Annie Oro. Hi, if you're in here, Annie. Um, she's sending this card from Santa Fe. Uh, she says, I'm having a good, such a good time 
the scenery and culture is amazing here. Highly recommend. Um, Some sort of a Oy, spa. Yeah, I think it's Oyo Caliente Spa in the middle of the mountains. I've been here a week. So fun. Talk to you soon. Oh, that's awesome, Manny. That sounds amazing. Um, I would love to go to a spa in the mountains. That sounds like a great time. Yeah. <laughs> but that's great. I hope you had a blast. Awesome. Oh, uh, also, if you guys are on... <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> if you guys are on Periscope, make sure you guys tap the screen a bunch. You give me lots of hearts. <laughs> I, they don't, like, do anything. But I just like knowing that I get lots of hearts. It looks cool. I don't know. Oh, hi, uh, hi Cornwall. Oh, hi, Gemma. Hi. We had some um, Cornish pasties in Cornwall. Yeah. It was very nice. I think we went to Nando's in Cornwall, too. We did, at the, the circus there. The, the Oh, yeah. It was so awesome. I love that place. What's it called? The That place. I, it was like a mall, basically. I, I totally picked this up the, because I thought that... Sorry, go ahead. No, no the last um, card... Well, this was in with the postcards, but the last card is from Cami, and it's from California Adventure, an inaugural celebration... Oh, of Disney's California Adventure. Is this California Adventure 2.0? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I think so. 2001? I don't know. I'd have to look it up. I don't have oh. my phone. Well, this <laughs> is the... That's the front there. It says, I hope you guys are having a good day. Your vlog is super neat. I actually binge watch a week's worth of your vids every Friday. You guys are like my reward for getting through the week. I really appreciate all the fun stuff you guys share. I live in Northern California, and I'm a huge Disneyland nerd. There... This part is actually from the opening of California Adventure. I thought you guys would appreciate it and find it neat. We do. It's really cool. I would like to go one day. Definitely. Um, even though it would be really hard to do, it would be awesome if you guys went to Disney in California and have a meetup with your West Coast fans. You guys are the best, Cammy. Um, I think that that would be awesome, Cammy. That's such a good idea. We were planning on going this year, um, and we had to postpone our trip. But hopefully we're going to get to go next year. Yeah. We're not sure when. But it would be so cool. We have some friends that live out there that we'd like to like meet up with and go to the parks with them too and, and have meetups and do all kinds of fun stuff. Because the only other time that we've been to California was before we were vlogging. Yeah. So we didn't well, get we to We didn't do it. anything fun. Well, we did. We did. We, we, got to, we, we went to like museums and stuff. Griffith Observatory. And we, and ate, like we ate a lot of like like a hot dog yeah, place. Yeah, like Pinky, Pink's, Pink's hot dogs. Or yeah, and we did some, like, we shopped on Rodeo Drive and, like, yeah. silly stuff. But we did have a good time. We just, we didn't vlog any of it. So oh. we, we might just do that. A lot of people are asking uh, different places, like, would you go to Hershey Park? I've been to Hershey Park before. Oh, yeah. I haven't been in forever. I, would, I used to go with my grandparents. Would um, you guys go to go. Disneyland Paris? Yeah, heck yeah. I, I, I mean, I'll just be honest. I would go anywhere. Yeah. Like, if we could just... Did something just beep? I don't think so. Oh, if we could go anywhere, like if we had all the money in the world, we would be all over the place. Yeah, well, traveling is quite expensive. And the dogs, like we can't yeah. bring the dogs and we don't have, like, we can't just like drop the dogs off at somebody's house for like three weeks and be like, bye. So. Right. But, uh, but yeah, so what is the next one? Uh, oh, this, this is, I thought was really funny because Jen like set everything up before we started and like, put everything on the side, made sure that everything was in piles. And I picked up this card and I was like, all right, the next one. And it's just, there's nothing in it. It's, it was, it's over here. Oh. It was just like a protective casing around some of it. So this one is from David, Richard, and Sandra and Kimmy the Tortoise. They actually came to our meetup that we had at the 24 hour day. So this is really cool that they, um, like sh they sent a letter with like all the little pics from their trip. It was really neat. So it was lovely to meet you guys at your unofficial meet and greet during the 24 hour opening at Magic Kingdom. In your vlog, Tim said to let you know uh, if one of the rocks in your rock garden was ours, we gave you a dark gray fossil from Peach Haven, England. And it was uh, so lucky that we had flown in the day before. We've enclosed a photo of our meeting with you and the one, oh, of my backpack, Rizzo the Rat from The Muppet Show, <laughs> yeah. who also met you that day. Sorry, I'm like, trying to look at the pictures and read at the same time, and I'm having a very hard time. We wanted to thank you for all of the advice you've given us over the months of the vlog. For example, the immigration tour at Men in Black. Yeah. Uh, they had the chicken and waffle sandwich at, Finn, at Simpsons. Oh, nice. With extra maple mayo on the side. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, they've been watching for just over a year, and as long as we keep vlogging, they'll keep watching. Oh. Well, thank you very much. It was so nice to meet you guys, too, when we had our little meetup. That was awesome. Yeah, and they sent us all kinds of stuff, like, the immigration tour, be our guest. 
Uh, but this is this is my favorite. They sent pictures of Rizzo the Rat doing all sorts of stuff at Disney. At Universal. Or at Universal. So so let me start over here. Here he is. Well, there's that's a Disney thing. Oh, sorry. So he does Muppets 3D. Uh -huh. Sorry, I'm going the wrong way again. Oh no, what I am. Sorry. And then uh, Springfield, and then a Butterbeer, and then the kitchen sink at a Hard Rock, right? I don't know. I uh, thought that was at Disney. Those are like Disney chairs. Oh uh, yeah. But this is oh, the fun. Mini these are sink. these are actually from our meetup, so this is pretty exciting. Yeah. So that's them, and then I got to hold the backpack. <laughs> oh no, sorry, she's holding the backpack. There it is. But yeah, and there is Rizzo the Rat. <laughs> Isn't that fun? It's I thought that awesome. was yeah, pretty cool. So thank you guys so much for coming to the meetup and for sending us this awesome letter. Yeah, thank you so much. This next one is from Harrison. And he says, uh, hey, Tim and Jen, my name is Harrison. I commented on a few of your videos. I've been a sub. I, I've been a sub when I was looking for videos of Hulk the Ride. I have two dogs of my own. They are American German Shepherds, Fritz and Eva. I hope you can come to Jackson, Georgia. We can meet up. Um, I went to Universal Orlando when I was a little kid. I believe you can go to Six Flags over Georgia sometime. We could, yeah, we should. We should go back to Georgia. Uh, and his YouTube channel is youtube.com slash Harrison Frazier. Yeah. Um, yeah, so check out his YouTube channel if you like. He sent a picture of his dogs, though. Look at these Harrison's dogs. They're beautiful. Very cool. Thank you so much for sending us this awesome letter, Harrison. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody in the comments of the YouTube keeps asking if there's going to be uh, a Q&A. Um, we do those sometimes. Yeah, yeah we could, we'll, we could we'll do that. We'll answer a few questions at the end. Yeah. Oh, you mean at the end of this video? Yeah. 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 Gotcha. Sorry. Um, let me get. Uh, what are we on to? Those Packages? envelopes. Envelopes. Yeah. All right. Do you have the little box cutter thing though? Oh, oh wait! Oh my gosh! There's one more. I almost forgot oh, it. I'll go get the box cutter. Okay, this one is from James, Alicia, Rue, and Raja, and it is really pretty. Look at that. It's like a little, like a horse and. A fowl, right? A horse's baby is a fowl? Full. Full? Sorry. A fowl is like a duck. Oh, gotcha. Right. A full. Okay. This is very pretty. It says... Oops, got to play down. May this summer bring you peace and enjoyment. And yes, Tim, I love horses. All my stationery is stamped that way. Also, please find and close some very special ornaments for your tree. These are one of a kind. Ooh, let's see. Is this like uh, Christmas in summer? I don't know. Let's see here. It says, "You show uh, to show how much joy the two of you brought into my house. Oh. I give you give these horses to you, that they might brighten your day and, of course, your Christmas. That's I know awesome. it's early yet. Check it out. But while I was looking at them, I thought of you. That's really cool. Oh, thank Let's you see. so much. Very cool. From James, Alicia, Rue, and Raja. This one's a little bit different." Isn't that awesome? That's cool. Yeah, these are so neat. Wow, thank you very thank much. Thank you so much for thinking of us. That's really, really awesome. Oh, I can't wait for Christmas now. I know, right? <laughs> very cool. Thank you so much, you guys. All right. Okay. Well, and now I have Christmas on the mind. Yeah. One <laughs> Thank you so much. That's really awesome. Oh, look at this card. Okay. Look at this card. <laughs> That's fun. It is really cool. It says, to Tim and Jen, uh, just thought I'd send, let me see, who is this from? This is from Ryan. Just thought I'd send this over to you guys from the pic I posted on Twitter. I'm Ryan. I live with my girlfriend, Holly, in Sheffield. Uh, we are famous for having a brilliant music scene. Uh, Def Leppard, Arctic Monkeys, Human League, Pulp, and uh, Joe Cocker, all being from Sheffield. Oh, wow. Oh, that's awesome. <clears throat> that's a lot of people. Uh, he's a DJ, uh, and she, Holly, is a teacher. Wow, that's very cool. Uh, they're coming over to Orlando uh, around Easter time, and let's see here. There's like a smudge here. Uh... We hope to go to as many parks as possible and hope uh, that they can make it happen. 
Awesome. Thank you very much, Ryan. And then this one is just Sheffield. What does it say? It says a river, a city of rivers, trees, and hills. It's a pretty cool design, though. I like, I like it. I like yeah. this design because it's very simple. It is. Very cool. And then you give some information about Sheffield here. Oh, wait. It's kind of like a, must have like cut no, this one yeah, off yeah, yeah. of another card. All right. And then he sent a, uh, a soccer, um, what do you guys, what do you call this? Like program? Football. Football program from uh, Sheffield's Red and White. The UTB, Up the Blades. All right. Very cool. Thank you very <laughs> much, Ryan. Awesome. Uh, this next one is from Marie, Ma, Maria. Sorry. I'm like, can't get my words out. And she says, since you guys are making shirts, I wanted to make you guys a shirt design in my tattoo style. I hope you like it. I'm also very happy that you guys love the portrait I did of you guys from Dapper Day. And the Mr. Burns drawing. Yeah, we love everything that you've sent us. Um, we have a really awesome style. I give you permission to get it tattooed. That would be that would mean a lot to me if you did. Oh, that's awesome, the Mr. Burns thing. Yeah. Um, anyways, keep up the great work. I hope to meet you when I'm in Orlando for Horror Nights. You guys are awesome. Uh, Maria. And if you want to follow Maria on Instagram to like check, up, check on her other stuff that she does, it's Maria underscore tattoo 13. So M-A-R-I-A underscore tattoo. T A T T O O one three, and she um, sent this over, which is really cool. It's now time. Now it's time to pay the price. But he's I like, like a yeah, he's like a like a villain. I think it's pretty awesome. It's very cool. Yeah, awesome. Thank you so much, Maria. We always love um, when you send stuff over. We you you got you're awesome. Thank you. Let's see here. All right, is there a is there a thing in here? I don't know. Is that the only um, envelope? I think so. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, here it is. Okay. Do you want me to? Yeah, go ahead and read okay, it Okay, so it says, Tim and Jen. Oh, this one is from um, Kitty. Kitty Cat. Um, I love your Orlando videos on YouTube. This one is. Oh, very cool. Sorry, I'm trying not to get the glare. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Um, it looks, I love your Orlando videos on YouTube. It looks like you have a lot of fun. I've been to Orlando twice, once in 2006 and once in 2008, and would love to go again. I'll have to wait to go with my three-and-a-half-year-old son. So we're, we're saying to send postcards from your followers, so I thought I'd send you some information on where I live. Okay. There's a couple of photos of me and my son, Jack. Here's Jack. Oh, Adorable. Cool. Um, I live in, I'm not going to say this properly, but it's, Guerns, Guernsey in the Channel Islands. Not as exciting as Orlando. I'm sure it sounds exciting, though. It looks and, um, pretty exciting. They've got, like, a tower with a slide around it. What is it? Let me see. I would say that that's pretty fun. Oh, it's like a carnival. Yeah. <laughs> is this, like, their pier? I think so. It didn't, it didn't, it says festivals and events. Oh, okay. Oh, very cool. Very cool. Uh, she sent us a bunch of different... People keep Stuff saying to that do. we need to do this on you now. Okay. Rather than the, the whatever, this is Google Hangout. Okay. I'm yeah. sorry that the Google like Hangout is not really working. I feel so bad. Nope. Uh, there's just a, and she sent a bunch of different things. Like this is from CSARC, and she sent uh, a pamphlets with a bunch of different stuff to do around there, and a lot of different stuff to do around uh, St. Peter Port Parish. Mm. Um, Guernsey again. It's really Which, pretty. Yeah, it looks really nice. So wait, where is this? Uh, it looks like it is in... This is a big old map. I wonder if there's anything that I can see around it. Oh, it's... It's a, It's its own island, it's but its like... Own island. But where? I don't know. It must be in the channel, right? In between... Maybe. I'm, I'm sure we sound like idiots right now. Right? Um... We should uh, we should look it up on the old internet. Let's see. I can't tell where. Where what? Where like? Okay, so wait. Okay, so somebody just said there are so few of us from Guernsey. So wait, where is it then? Yeah, where's where's Guernsey? Does it are they saying on Periscope? They're they're saying on the Google chat, which is so far behind that they're not going to hear what I'm saying for like another 20 minutes. <laughs> but 
Um, oh yeah, be okay, between the UK and France. Cool, thank you. Wow, there it is. Right, okay. because it's the channel. I get it now. Ooh, there's an underground military museum. Very cool. Yeah. The German Military Underground Hospital. Mm. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, that is cool. Wow, thank you very much. Thank you. It looks really pretty though. Check it out. It reminds me of the pictures of like Greece that I've seen. Um, I don't know. It's really pretty though. Yes. There. Yep. Right. Um, are we on the packages now? Did we you, are. you already did that one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I did these two. All right. Here you go. Okay. Sorry, I was like out of the. Uh... Whoa. This is pretty neat. So, I actually opened this one up not too long ago because we like to make sure there's no, um, like, something that needs to be refrigerated or right. something. Right, we've had people send us, like, pizza rolls, and they went bad in yeah. the box. So, I think it's on the back of one of these. Is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. All right, so this one is from Jill and Joey, and it says, Thank you for the wonderful videos. My boyfriend and I look forward to them daily. We feel like we know you guys and are best friends. We're from Boston, Massachusetts, and come down to Disney two to three times a year. Your videos really help between trips and always make us smile. Thanks again for sharing your lives with us and the effort you put into your videos. Here's just a few things that I thought might look cute in the office. Okay, so they mailed over some really cool Dumbo stuff, like the, yeah, that's awesome. that postcard, which is the one they wrote on. There's this one, which is the, like when the clowns are like, Drunk, I guess, that part. Yeah. There's That's this one, sweet. which is like when all the babies are being delivered. Like when they're on, oh, it's so cute. <laughs> and then this one is so sad. Like with, oh, with the mad no. elephant sign. Oh, so those are the postcards and I love them all. They're all so awesome. And then she mailed over some Dumbo socks and they're like little, like little, I don't know if these will actually fit my feet, but they're so cute. <laughs> and, and then she sent over like oh, every... they both, sorry, it's Jill and Joey. Sorry, I'm only... Oh, sorry. They both sent over... Like every Disney princess ever in Pez form. So yeah. this is Rapunzel. There's... I wish that she wasn't like facing. Here's Snow White. There's Snow White. And here's uh, Merida. Oh, there she is. Here's Belle. Oh no, she's like being attacked by the barcode. There's Belle. Isn't that so awesome? Who's this? This is uh, Cinderella. Cinderella, Cinderella. Cinderella, Cinderella. Yeah, she's Here's pretty Aurora. awesome. Aurora. Aurora, Briar Rose. Hold it up a little bit. It's not Briar Rose though, because she's not wearing that outfit. Oh yeah, okay. But yeah. What's and the then last Ariel. Oh yeah. It's hard to see her like but full not, head. Not like fun. Not mermaid Ariel. Mermaid Ariel. Yeah. It's people Ariel. People feet Ariel. She's a real girl. She's a real girl. But well, yay! So that was so awesome. Thank you so much, Jill and Joey. So cute. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, I love that. Oh no, I made a mess. Sorry. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, this one's heavy. Oh dear. Well, this one's from Austin. Austin Thornhill. All right. All right. Let's see what we've got here. Some paper. <laughs> Some more paper. All right. So, uh, here we go. Let's see. Okay. Oh, there's a little something no. in here, I think. Oh, it smells really good. Like, this whole box smells really good. Um, greetings from Mississippi. My name is Austin. I wrote to you before. I was the one who had the shirt design for it all started with mustache. Awesome. In bye, hot dog and donut. Oh, bye. Um, in this letter, I'm going to be telling you about my recent Disney vacation. They left on May 25th. They drove to the airport in New Orleans. Um, it was his first flight, and he loved it. So after they spent the week in Disney, they went to Sanibel Island. Um, oh, my gosh. Sanibel is so pretty, too. Yeah. Um, after they went to Sanibel Island, they went to West Palm Beach, Florida. Which is and, also nice. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. And then when they left West Palm Beach, they went to Stewart, Florida. I've actually never been there. Have you ever been there? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's all right. Not, not as good as all the other ones. Oh. Um, after they left Stewart, they went to Daytona Beach. And after they went to Daytona Beach, they came home. And their whole trip took about two weeks. That sounds like an awesome yeah. road trip through Florida. So they flew down, but then they drove back so they could go to all the beaches. 
Um, oh, let's see. I wanted to let y'all know that you're the best. Thank you. Um, in the box, there are some of the things that really scream Mississippi, and I hope y'all enjoy it. Love, Austin. So let's see. What did Austin send? He sent some roasted pecans. Oh. Pecans, whatever you want to call them. These are delicious, and I'm going to eat to, some. I have to see. This smells, like, so good. This is a candle that smells kind of like our Mississippi woods. It smells good. But it's just a, and he just put like a little sticker on the front, but it smells really good. It smells kind of like, I don't even know. It smells like the Mississippi woods. <laughs> uh, this is peppered white gravy. And he says, we eat peppered white gravy on biscuits in the morning, which we do too, and it's amazing. Well, we don't do pepper white, I guess. Yes, yeah, salt metal gravy. Okay, yeah, yeah. Same, same, same thing. And then this is brown gravy is good on everything, and that's totally true. Let's see here. Here's Jen's favorite thing. What is this? It says, we love our grits. Oh, grits. Yeah, I love grits. Uh, we eat them almost every morning. and they Put a are ton really, of butter in them. There really is uh, just crushed up corn, and we put a ton of butter in them. Butter makes it butter. Uh, in case you guys are wondering from the UK what grits are, it's basically like pimento. Polenta. Polenta. Not pimento. All right. <laughs> not, not that thing. Sometimes Tim likes to like regurgitate things that he's heard, and then he doesn't say them. And I always get them wrong. Really funny. <laughs> always get them wrong. Pimento. So also a little package of black eyed peas. Um, I haven't had black eyed peas in a really long time, but we will definitely be making these. Jillian, I can see your message on the Twitter. Where? Right there at the top. Oh, she yay. says she can't post anywhere, but she wants to let us know that she was here. Thank you. Thank you so much. We loved everything. Yeah. Um, says we use a lot of Cajun seasoning in oh, the deep yeah. south of Mississippi. This actually, I'm excited for this. It's called Queen Bee All Purpose Seasoning. It looks really good. I can't wait to use it. Yeah. Uh, and then the last but not least are some black eyed peas. And we like black eyed peas. Did you? Oh, yeah. just kidding. <laughs> that was already said. Well, yeah, thank you very much, Austin. Yeah. This is, I'm going to eat all this food. I can't wait. It looks awesome. And it's going to be delicious. And we're going to burn this candle, and it's going to smell wonderful. Yeah, it smells really good. Is this the one I already? That's the clotted cream. Oh, okay. Um, do you want to that... grab that? Yeah. All right, so we opened this one already because it did need to be um, refrigerated. So Tim's going to go grab it. But says, Jen, you mentioned in your last mail log that you miss having English clotted cream, so we thought we would send some to you. With love and best wishes from Jonathan and Caroline. And uh, so they mailed over two things of clotted cream. And I love this stuff. It's so good. Is it? Is it like we're on Muppet Vision right now <laughs> in 3D? Kind of, sort of. But yeah, so thank you so much, you guys. Like, that was awesome. We add it. We actually ate it on our scones that we made yesterday. And it made them even more delicious. So thank you so much. Yay! All right, all right, all right. What do you think? This one? Let's see. Oh, Thorson TV is in here. They're going to Horror Nights um, this year. Awesome. So I'm sure we'll see you there then. Hey, Tim. It's Carlo. Hi, Carlo. This didn't come in here. Oh, no. Okay. So that's part of the, the next part. Uh, let's see. This one. All right. I think it's all that. So. Oops. I opened it. This one is from Abigail. And she has really awesome stationery. It's really pretty. Oh, it's got like lace on it. Oh, it's like little decals. Oh, very cool. Cool, I like it. Okay, um, I'm from South Carolina. I started watching you guys about two weeks ago. Oh, thank you for like joining us. That's awesome. That's awesome. And I was so excited to find YouTubers who put out vlogs every day. I actually had searched for a test track POV and clicked on the first video that came up, and that was one of oh, and one of your videos came up as suggested. Sorry, um, video, and then I was instantly hooked. I've watched a ton of your Disney and Universal vlogs as well as your everyday vlogs. I love them. I just got home from Disney yesterday, and have to, and I have to say, your vlogs helped me get over the top. Help me get oh, get over the top, pumped up for my trip. Oh, that's awesome. I am the girl who tweeted you saying I had watched part of your mail vlog on the bus to Magic Kingdom. Oh, oh I remember yeah, you. Yeah. That's so funny. I hope you got to watch it with the audio, because I think I remember you saying that you couldn't hear it, if I'm right. Is I think that, so, yeah, I yeah. I think so, but I hope you got to watch it with the audio. Um, anyway, I'm quite, I have 
I'm quite obsessed with watching your vlogs. I'm only going to be a senior in high school next year, but you guys totally make me want to live in Orlando when I'm older. I'm not sure I could handle the extreme humidity. It is so hot and so humid. It's crazy. Um, uh, it was so hot when we were in Disney, but it seems like such a fun place to live. Since you always show your precious dogs in your vlogs, I put a photo of my dogs, my, Miley and Luke. I think it says Miley and Luke. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, Miley is a miniature dachshund, and Luke is a Brussels griffin. Where, where's the picture of her dog? I'm opening it. Oh, it's okay. in here. She made an envelope out I of need, a park map. I need to see these dogs. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. All right, I, I tried my hardest not to rip it, but I think I have to. Um, she says, they're both crazy. I've also included photos from our Disney trip. We had a great time at all of the theme parks and wish we could have met both of you. I saw several people who I thought were you. Oh, that's really funny. Well, I wish we could have met with you too. I'm sorry. But thank you guys for always making me laugh and smile. Oh, that's so cute. So, oh. this is Luke, which I do have to admit, he kind of looks like a bandit. That's so cute. And he then, kind of looks like a little Ewok. Yeah. And then uh, this is Miley, looking all like off to the side and like, hey, what are you guys <laughs> taking a picture of me for? Like a model. And then an amazing dessert at Mama Melrose at Hollywood Studios, which... It looks really good. I would like to eat that. That so, looks awesome. And then in the top picture, that's Abigail. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, There she is right there. That was her um, prom, her prom picture. Yeah. Oh, and here they are at... Uh, Fantasmic. Fantasmic, with the Orlando Snapchat filter on. <laughs> uh, her brother and her dad at World Showcase. Lots of then stuff. They, oh, okay. What? I was just going to say, then it's... They're at the Magic Kingdom, like right at the, the main gate there. And then here, look at that sunset. It's like so pretty. Oh, yeah. Wow. Let me see. Very pretty. Oh, and that's at Epcot as well. The sunset. Aww. Well, and there's a couple more pictures of them here at Epcot and at uh, Magic Kingdom and MGM or Hollywood Studios. They're awesome. such good pictures. They are. Aww. Well, Looks thank like you, you very a really much. Awesome time. Wait, we've got lots of stuff that she sent. Okay, first thing. Oh, okay. So she sent us a super fun like koozie to go with our koozie collection. Yeah, I'm gonna show it to you guys. It's like a like a pirate theme. It's like koozie. a treasure map, though. See, he's like following his little. Very cool. Awesome. Um, this one's yours. Oh, it goes in here. Oh, okay. Sorry, rearranging. Time out. <clears throat> the, Tim, this is a reusable water bottle that I thought would be perfect for when you are you and Jen go to Universal or Disney. Hope you like it. Pretty cool. I do like it. It's very nice. It's like, you, you can never have too many like water bottles, I feel like. That's right. And then this I thought was pretty cool. She mailed over a box full of beauty-related items, and she said um, she knows how much I like, like beauty and makeup in general, which I do. Um, so she put together a box of things that she hopes I will love. And then it's actually some of the stuff is from Birchbox, like from her Birchbox. So she also sent over the information, which was really cool. So she mailed over this fun little headband, which I actually tried it on yesterday when we opened up the mail, and it's really cute. So I thought that was pretty awesome. These little like nail decals. And to be honest, I bite my nails, so I'm going to not be able to wear these for a little bit of time. But one day I'm going to get to wear these, and it's going to be so cute. This little, like, compact, little, um, like, uh, the mirror, like, for your purse that has some, like, fun little zebra printy on it. And these, I believe, are from a birch box. But this is the Be Kind Honey and Organic Red Clover Shampoo. And the honey is awesome for your hair if you have your hair um, color treated, so that's cool. And then this is like a mineral sunscreen, but it's tinted. So I can't wait to try that. There's also some baby lips, which I've actually never tried, so I'm excited to try this. And an aloe mask. I think it's for hydration. Yeah, so this is for dry skin, which is good in the summertime because with all the sun that you get here, it definitely um, can dry out your skin. And then this I thought was actually pretty awesome because I don't think I've vlogged about this yet. But I started using a new hair milk, and it's from this company called Davines. And she actually sent over this illuminating color 
enhancing serum from the same company that I'm currently using, which is this Davines company. So I thought that was pretty crazy. Um, so because she mailed that over, I wanted to show you guys what I actually use in my hair. If you're interested in checking it out, it's hard to see, but it's the all-in-one milk. It's the Davines all-in-one milk. And that's what I use in my hair to keep it not like super dry. I, I think my hair feels pretty healthy for as much as I dye it. So I love this. But yay, thank you. I love this little beauty box. This is awesome. She also sent over a newspaper from her town, Spartanburg, South Carolina. It's pretty awesome. I can't wait to see what's going on. I found, maybe see what the winning lottery numbers are there. <laughs> uh, and then there's a Food Network magazine with tons of recipes for us to try in it. Oh, how cool. Sweet. I love that. We've been looking for new stuff to make for dinners. So this is perfect. And it's got a picture of, uh, what are these things called on the back? Macaroons. Macaroons. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Thank you very much. <clears throat> <clears throat> <laughs> but that's so cool. I love that. Thank you so much for watching. And I can't believe that um, you know, like all that awesome beauty stuff. I can't wait to try it all. Jen is really excited. I am so excited. I can't like hold it in. All right. Let's see what we got here. It's a. Uh, oh, here yeah. It is. I, when we open this up, because like what I said, we open it to make sure nothing has to be refrigerated. We thought this was so cool. Greeting from uh, Des Moines. Is it Des Moines? Oh, wait. Um, Des Moines? I don't know what it says. I, I think can it says DeMolt, Indiana. Keep up the good work. I'm really enjoying the show. I saw this spatula at the store and felt it was appropriate for Tim. Enjoy using it. Uh, hope to see you guys again at HHN. Mike Easton. Let's see what it is. It is a spatula that's in the shape of a mustache. Yeah. I looks pretty I awesome. Know. I, I couldn't find the city, so hopefully we said the city right. What do you guys think? Oh, that's awesome. Pretty cool. I really love this. <laughs> I think this is so fun. We're going to have um, hamburgers soon, and I can't wait to use this. Right? I can't <laughs> wait to flip all kinds of stuff with this. And it's got a bottle opener on the back end, which is sweet. They really like know who they're marketing this to, so right? I, I like that. Stainless steel multi-purpose turner bottle opener top. It's pretty nice. Very cool. <laughs> Very cool. Thank you very much, Mike. Uh, oh, hey, ears to you. What, is Bandit kicking you? Yeah. Are they in here? I don't know. Somebody just said, hi, ears to you. Oh, hi. Uh, hello. <laughs> uh, let's see. What's everybody doing in Periscope? How's it going? Oh, yeah. We have an app. Uh, oh, you had your wisdom teeth out. Oh, no. Hey, Trick. How's it going? Uh, flip the burger, have a beer. Flip the burger, have a beer. Where's Bean? He's like literally right there. He keeps kicking me. Keeps kicking Jen. Uh, ooh, Bonnie Wood loves Jen's hair. Oh, thank you. That's awesome. Thank you, guys. Well, thank you for loving the videos, everybody. Yeah. Somebody wants us to come to SeaWorld. Uh, that's like our, our goal is to get tickets for SeaWorld again. Yeah, we don't, um, it's not that we don't want to go to SeaWorld, it's that our pass is expired, and they're, they're not super expensive, but they're expensive enough that we have to kind of, like, wait. Right. So we already told you guys earlier about our story about trying to go to Disneyland. Oh, yeah, so right we're trying to... Uh, <laughs> somebody said the mustache spatula, the mustachula? Uh-huh. Mustachula? Which is just a funny word. Oh, right, yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, so this next one is from Maddie. She lives in Minnesota, and she was looking up Wizarding World of Harry Potter construction video and saw our videos. Now, she's been watching um, for about one year, and they have a dog named, is it? Deuce. Deuce? Okay. He's eight, and his breed is Vizella? Vizla? Vizla. What's that? Vizula. I don't know. B-I-S-Z-L-A. Vizla? Vizla. Vizla. I don't, I've never seen one. We'll have to Google it after this. I do want to um, see Legolas. When I got him, I was in the sixth grade. Now I'm 20. I'm in my second year of college. I enjoy your videos. Oh, see, that's kind of like with Armani. Like, I got Armani when I graduated high school, basically. And now I'm 30-something. And I still have him. And I love that. Um, okay, sorry. Uh, second year of college. Enjoy your videos and look forward to them every day. I've been to Florida before on vacation, but it's been about five years. I went to Disney World and I stayed with family, but have since moved to California. Oh, that's awesome. That's really cool. We stayed at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. We, ooh. Had, ooh, we had giraffes outside our room by the balcony. I hope to come to Florida so I can see the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. 
I'm a big fan of Harry Potter and all uh, I have all the movies and I've read all seven books. I hope you enjoy your gifts and The Rock is from the North Shore of Minnesota. Oh, and then she says that um, Deuce says hi to Bean and Armani. Yeah. So thank you so much. That's awesome. Um, these are really cool. She sent over some fun little glasses that have mustaches on them. <laughs> Isn't that think? awesome? Way cool, right? I like them. I always like to have stuff like this for um, like the pool and the parks and stuff, like fun glasses. Yeah. Very like, cool. Instead of sunglasses. Fun glasses. They're fun glasses. Right? Somebody market that. Quick. Okay. Call, up, call up the governor. The governor of what? The sunglasses marketing governor? Sunglass marketing governor. Okay, she also mailed, you guys know how much we love wind chimes. She mailed over, sorry, I'm trying to like untangle this because I totally tangled it. Oh, yeah. But she mailed over this awesome wind chime. There it is. There you go. I think it goes Ooh. like this. Yeah, yeah, no, you got it right. So, um, and then it oh, has. Oh, no, you have it right in the back like that so that it hits all of them. Yeah. And then it has, I can't even lift it all the way up. It has like a little leaf, which is pretty neat. I can't wait to put this outside. Oh, will you set it down for a second, though? Yeah. Thank you, that's really cool. And then here is the rock from the North Shore of Minnesota. Yay! So you we guys have. ready? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so now we have a new wind chime. Um, that I think was awesome. We have one more box. One more box. One more, and then we're gonna start our little Q and A. Yeah. So get your get your questions ready. Don't ask them yet. But get them ready. On Twitter, the uh, YouTube, and the Periscope. Somebody asked what Periscope was. It's basically just like a way for me to stream from my phone. So. Okay. This last one is pretty stinking awesome. Oh, yeah. There was, There's some cool oh, stuff in here. Some good water. Uh -huh. Okay, so this one is, oh, like a Ooh. handmade one. Oh, very cool. Okay. This last one is from Katie. Katie. Look at that. She actually like made this card. Check it out. Yeah, now it's time to pay the price. Yeah, this is awesome. I love this. And it says, um, hi, I love you guys. I've been watching you since January. I've also been making my way through all of the older vlogs. I'm in 2013. Holy cow. That's hey, a, a lot of videos. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, that's crazy because she's already made it through four years. Whoa. Yeah, that's insane. Unless you, I don't know actually how you started, but nuts um i found your channel searching for halloween horror nights the shallow grave and legends a haunting at old town i've been hooked mm. ever since you guys have inspired me to also become a blogger my first few vids were rough so were ours like the first oh, yeah. the first like hundred videos that we made were pretty rough actually i'd say we didn't even get like watchable until three years in yeah, it, was, it was a it was quite a while <laughs> so we feel your pain yeah um let's see um, but for the last few weeks, I've been uploading daily and now consider myself a daily vlogger. Nice. Yes. Very and, nice. And she also does covers as well. So that's really cool. Oh, I like think, song covers? I think so. Yeah. Um, we talk frequently yeah. on social media through one way, through one or the other of my two logins, um, Katie, Katers0712 or Ruby Songbird, um, Ruby Songbird 13. I own my own Etsy shop and wanted to make you guys a gift just to say thank you for being a part of my life each day and for sharing your lives with us. Uh, I made this card for you guys, which is awesome. I love this. I think that's a really cool design. And this is a combination of both Universal Parks and also Disney Parks. Okay, so let me open this up so I can show you guys. Because this is so cool. And actually, here, do you want to put that up just so you guys can see what her Etsy is while we're... I don't even know if I can. It's backwards on Periscope. Oh, it's is backwards it? on both of them. Oh, shoot. Okay. You know. It's etsy.com slash. Oh, thanks, Bandit. Just yeah. stepped on everything. Yeah. Etsy.com slash shop slash Ruby Songbird 13. And I don't know if the capitals matter or not, but it's capital Ruby, capital Songbird 13. Sweet. Okay. I'm trying to open it up so I can show you guys what she made. Oh. Oh, oh. Stop a little bit. Oh, no, that was my fault. There it is. Can you hold it up? Oh, very cool. And this, um, she says, it is 
a combination of both Universal Parks and also the Disney Parks. I tried to include as many things as I could, and I made sure to make it at sunset, which is awesome. I love that. Uh, I tried to put the new t-shirt logo on your t-shirt, and Jen, I put you in a mini dress with your ears. Included in the painting are Minions, The Globe, Cowfish, Transformers, um, Rip Rocket, The Dragon, Hogwarts, Gringotts, Men in Black, The Hulk, Entry Gate at Magic Kingdom, Cinderella Castle, The Disney Fireworks, Tower of Terror, Grand Floridian, Monorail, Epcot Ball with Mickey Ears, Expedition Everest, and of course you guys with Armani and Bean. That's so awesome! There's Down like there. everything, everything is in this picture. That's so cool. It's like perfect too. And she put the Yeti in there too. <laughs> Look at this Yeti up this here. This is so cool. I love that. I cannot wait until we finish the um, office. Like this will be one of the first things I put up for sure. <laughs> That's so cool. Thank you. Um, I sent some photos of my family um, and I. I included some of Skyview Atlanta, Atlanta's versions of the Orlando Eye. I hope to meet you one day in Orlando. And she goes two to three times a year. So we're at the parks a lot. You never know. And then um, on YouTube, her YouTube name is Ruby Songbird. And uh, thank you. Thank you so much for sending this, Katie. Thank this you. This is awesome. Like, this is so cool. So I wanted to show you guys some of the pictures. Uh, okay, so, sorry, Bandit totally just, like, told over on this. Um, oh, this is from some of her pictures from Netherworld, which is so cool, here and here. This is the um, Ferris wheel at night, which I'm guessing is, like, the Atlanta eye. Like the Orlando eye. So, okay. It looks awesome. I love the colors. This is her with Duff Man and Barney. Oh, Very what, is, cool. what does this say right here? That's the sky view. That's the, oh, like, okay. the Atlanta. That's, that's their eye. Gotcha. Yeah, but it looks awesome. You see? Nope, oh, sorry. And then this was actually so cool. So this is her Halloween costume, which is like pretty hardcore. Like, check that out. It's like super intense. <laughs> I love it. It looks awesome. And then also, oh yeah, at, at Horror Nights last year. So this is in front of Dollhouse. Oh yeah. Which was one of my favorite houses. And then this was, oh, in front of the Voodoo Queen stage with one of the, like, one of her, like, voodoo dudes. Voodoo so dudes. Cool. Very cool. I love that. Thank you see? so much for sharing all your stuff with us. Oh, there's one more thing. She also sent over a, is it another mask? Oh, it is. Oh, I love these. Oh, my gosh. Um, I commented about this face mask on one of your skincare vlogs. It's made for oily, acne-prone skin, and I thought you might like to try it, and I would. It is a clarifying mask with active charcoal. I can't wait to try it. I love this stuff. This is, like, my favorite stuff. I love stuff. I love masks and face stuff. Hey. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I cannot wait to put your your picture up that you painted, though. That is so awesome. Thank you so much. Very cool. Yeah. Like, just, you guys are so talented. I wish I had, like, 1% of the talent that you guys have. It's awesome. Shout out to Ethan. Ethan. So, do you guys have any, like, fun little questions for us? Um, actually, while you guys are like putting in some of your questions, I had a little something to tell you guys. I talked about it in the vlog a little bit today, um, which you won't see till tomorrow, but um, our friend Kaylee came and stayed with us over the weekend. Some of you guys might have seen those videos or checked out her channel, um, or maybe even checked out her Etsy, but we will be having a, um, like a giveaway where uh, we're gonna do it on our channel but it will be some of the fun items that Kaylee has made um, that we're going to be giving away. So look out for that sometime really soon. We're going to put out a video specifically for the giveaway. Um, but it's going to consist of, should I grab those things or should we like to? Maybe. We'll do it in the video because everybody started asking questions. Oh, already. you did? Okay. So yeah. we'll get into the Q&A. But it's, um, she gave us some really awesome jewelry, some like fandom style necklaces and earrings and uh, also some like little miniature paintings that she painted and a couple of like bigger paintings that she painted that were more like kind of this big -ish. So um, definitely be on the lookout for that if you guys are interested. It's something that you can check out now on her Etsy just to kind of see her style. 
but it's fandomly designs. Etsy dot uh, slash fandomly designs. Slash so. shop slash fandomly designs. Okay, sorry. Oh, sorry. Uh, so yeah, so let's get into the questions. All right, what is your favorite ride ever in the um, world? Uh, I think Tower of Terror. Uh, um, oh, I gotta get in on this Periscope. I know, I can't really... Have you been in the old Nick Studios? Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, a bunch of our friends from school were on like Guts and you know, all those other shows. Uh, can we expect the Legoland vlog soon? We're trying, like we're trying to get out the Legoland. It's kind of far away. It's about, what, like 30 minutes past Disney? So it's pretty far. Uh, what, are you coloring your hair again? Um, I think I am. I have an appointment on like the some in like a week or two, I think. So somebody asked if Kaylee was single. No, she's not. Sorry. <laughs> uh, what's worse to get stuck on Small World? Uh, sorry, I didn't get all of that one. It went away too quick. Happy birthday to whoever's birthday it was. Any new rides coming to Disney? We've got a lot of new rides coming to Disney. There's going to be a lot of makeover at <laughs> Hollywood Studios, and uh, we've got Avatar Land opening up in 2017. Oh, somebody said, why is it that you barely go to Busch Gardens? Um, we don't have passes to Busch Gardens. That's the only reason why we don't go. We used to go until our passes expired. Uh, what's your favorite ride at Magic Kingdom? Mm, Big Thunder? Oh, Jungle Cruise, maybe. Somebody asked if we would go to Legoland. Um, yeah, we totally want to go to Legoland. Hopefully that'll happen sometime soon. Uh, stuck on Small World or not going to Disney at all? Not going to Disney at all. Uh, uh, plan on going to Dapper Day again? Yeah, heck yeah, yeah that was I a lot of fun. There's one in October, I think. Any new <laughs> shirt designs coming soon? Long sleeve? We have um, we have some ideas that we are just we're hoping to have them designed sometime soon. But be on the lookout for some stuff, hopefully sometime soon, because we do have a couple of ideas that like are in the process of being designed. Uh, shout out to Saucy McNuggets. <gasps> what does the tattoo on your wrist say? It says, "This is what you live for." Uh, is there a ride that you'd want them to bring back? Jaws. Jaws. I mean, I would hate to get rid of Diagon Alley, though. Uh, 1900 Park Fair. Any food requirements tips? No, it's a buffet. Like, you could pretty much Some, have whatever you want. Somebody asked if our shirts are being shipped to Germany. Um, if you go to the Spreadshirt website, I believe they're being shipped everywhere. So it's, I think it's just so. Spreadshirt. Just check out Spreadshirt. Dot, what is it? The TimTracker.Spreadshirt.com. There you go. And there's a, you know, like frequently asked questions and stuff like that about so shipping costs and stuff like that. The only thing that we found is that it was, it said it was one price to ship to the UK, but then the UK has customs charges that they just randomly charge some Which people, but not everybody. We, um, unfortunately, we don't have anything to do with the customs in your country. So um, I'm really sorry that that happened, if that happened to you. Um, hopefully it doesn't happen to everybody. I don't know. Which water park is best for non-swimmers? I don't know that any water park is okay for, or well, best for non- I'm sure that there are different areas at water parks. <laughs> Sorry. I'm sure that there are different areas. Hey, Kyle. Uh, different areas of different water parks that are okay for non-swimmers, but- um, Somebody asked, how much are the frosty towels? They're $8, and I will tell you this, they're not worth it. Because the guy told me that they stayed cold for three months, and it's not cold anymore. And we've had it for like maybe three days. So yeah. I don't recommend buying the frosty towel. Somebody asked, um, why are they closing Disney Quest? Um, it's, uh, I, I think it like either needed to be closed or like majorly overhauled, like with like a bunch of new, um, like updated stuff. Cause the technology, I mean, if it's like a, a place for you to go and like see the latest technology, it's that's not really what it is anymore. It was at a certain point in its life, but at this point, it's not. So yeah, it's just it could be utilized. Like something else could be put there that could be way more awesome. Yeah, but I uh, did have fun at, at Disney Quest at, at one point though. But I believe I was in middle school. So it says, a while ago. can we show the water parks? Yes. Yeah, we are hoping to upgrade our passes. We're getting our uh, passes upgraded this month. Yeah, so hopefully. We'll get to do the water park stuff soon. What's your favorite Disney park? I love Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom is awesome. Armani is a dachshund mix of some kind. He's also mixed with something else, so we're not totally sure. Cowfish or Bubba Gump? Cowfish. Oh, yeah. Uh, what flavors do you recommend of Dole Whip? The pineapple? Regular, regular old Dole Whip? Yeah, I like the orange one. It was really good, too. Yeah. What's your favorite Disney movie? Cartoon movie? What's your favorite Disney cartoon movie so far? 
Um, I would say Aristocats. Aristocats. It's one of the ones that I, like, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't stay awake for all these Disney movies, and Aristocats was one of the ones that I was awake the most through. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Courtney. Uh, let's see here. I'm confused. What is your, oh, I missed it. Darn Jaws it. or Jurassic Park? I, uh, see, I don't know. I think I would still say Jaws. I mean, Jurassic Park is cool, but like I want to see what they do with it. If they do anything, they probably they won't, won't do anything. anything. <laughs> Have you seen Inside Out yet? Nope, not yet. Is the premiere pass worth it? Is that the one where you get free valet? I don't know. What do we have? We uh, have Universal. We have the Cream? the preferred. preferred. Yeah, so we don't. Okay, I don't know. We don't have it. I don't know if it's worth it or not. I think you get one free non-peak horror nights tickets, which is nice. Tea or coffee? coffee. Uh, I'm trying so hard to read these, but they're going too fast. Star, Star Wars Trek. or Star Trek? Um, I like Star Trek. Yeah. Shout out to Jake. What is your favorite state other than Orlando? Um, well, I would have to say... Uh, Orlando? I don't know. Favorite state or favorite city? <laughs> they said state. I think oh. city. Uh, I would say... I like down in... Uh, Key West, maybe? Over, yeah, that or... Are we, um, if we're talking other state, though, I don't know. Maybe yeah, Georgia. Georgia's very, very pretty. Other states. And it's close. Uh, somebody wants to know if we had any idea when uh, Avatar was opening. 2017. <laughs> um, any news on this year's Horror Nights? I where, know we're getting Jack. Where are you from originally? We're both from here. I know that we're getting Jason versus Freddy. Yeah. We don't have any plans for a meetup in August. I, I believe our next meetup that we're going to have is probably going to be somewhere around Halloween Horror Nights or Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Um, we're not sure of the exact date yet, though. So, What is your favorite stage show at Universal or Disney World? Disney World or Universal? We like Celestina. She's fun. She, yeah, I like that. I also really like the um, Villains Mix and Mingle show. Oh, yeah, that's a good one, at, too. Or at uh, Not So Scary. That one's really cute. Um... Yeah. What is your opinion on Disney changing the name of Downtown Disney to Disney Springs? Honestly, it doesn't really make any difference to me at all. I, 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 I don't really care. <laughs> I like seeing new stuff. I yeah. like that they're making the water a central feature. So yeah, yay. yeah. Disney I, Springs. I'm too, I'm like super crazy happy with the uh, the walkway, the like bridge. Oh yeah, the little the, shortcut the, bridge. Yeah, the bridge is great. Like <laughs> it's wonderful. Uh, have you tried La Ronde in? Montreal? No. I have not. We have we have not been to Montreal together. Shout out to Brandon. <laughs> uh, go to the Netherlands to Eiffel. Oh, okay. So actually, somebody mailed us a bunch of pamphlets from that from that park, and it looks really cool. It's the one that's like um, classic fairy tales, I think. It looks awesome. What ride would you get rid of at Disney? Which park? Like Magic Kingdom? Yeah. Ooh, Magic what Kingdom's ride? hard. I would say. Hmm. If I had to get rid of something. I'd probably get rid of Barnstormer, maybe. Well, but that one's cute. It's fun. I like it. Uh, let's see. What else is at Disney that I would get rid of? I'd have the, to be, like, looking at a map right now because I can't even think of anything. Magic Carpets of Aladdin. Would you? Yeah. I'd I mean, put it, maybe, like, retheme it. But I guess, would you get, would you just get rid of the second Dumbo, then? No, 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 no. I like the, I like the... Extra Dumbo. Oh, okay. Why don't you ride The Simpsons? Um, we don't ride The Simpsons very often because it makes me sick, but also we can't film on it, so. Yeah, and it gives me a headache. Yeah. Are you ever coming back to the UK? We hope so. What's the best ride to get stuck on? One time we got stuck on Pirates of the Caribbean, and that was kind of fun to get stuck on because they eventually turned on the lights and you got to see some of the like weird animatronics behind the animatronics that yeah. were lit up. So it was like some stuff I think they were trying to like hide, maybe, but it was cool. Uh, what's your favorite Bush Gardens ride? Mm. Ooh, I would say Cheetah Hunt. Cheetah Hunt at night. Yeah. It's amazing. Please open your own theme park resort. Um, that would I, be awesome. That would cost a lot of money. <laughs> I say water weird? <laughs> King Kong oh. or Indominus Rex? I'm going to I mean, say, to run away from or? Like who would win in a fight? Uh, Indominus Rex. Yeah, probably, because he's got, like, the teeth in the mouth. She. She. Yeah. What's your favorite ride at Disney? Oh, we already did that one. What time... 
Oh yeah, it's the the um, Little Mermaid show. You're right. That's what we should have gotten rid of was the Little Mermaid. Oh, but that's not at, stage show. at Magic Kingdom. Oh, true, true. Oh, Bob Saget's in here. Yeah. Shout out to Bob Saget. Shout out to Bob Saget. <laughs> Will you be going to Disneyland soon? We hope so. We really want to. What horror on earth legendary truth legion are you? Uh, will you mm -hmm. be getting Fast Pass Plus this year? Um, right. oh, I, for for horror nights, yeah, I want to. I definitely want to get Fast Pass Plus. Or Express. Express, right? Yeah. Fast Pass Plus is Disney. Sorry. <laughs> um, I definitely want to get Express. I think it's going to be crazy expensive. It was something like five hundred dollars for the both of us. Yeah. But I guess it's going to be worth it. I don't know. Shout out to Holly. Would you ever work at Disney? No. Yeah, I probably wouldn't. I really either. wouldn't. I think um, I, if I were younger, I would say yes. If I were younger, but because I'm like I'm too, it's hot. Like I'm too old. I feel like I would just fall over and die. <laughs> it would not be good. Somebody said, "Do you think Jack for HHN twenty four is overused or for twenty five? No, because they haven't used him since um, like two thousand five. It's been yeah, ten years. I would say well, no, also because I've never seen Jack." They and used I, him in 20, sorry. Yeah, the, the first time I ever went was in 21, and he, that was the like the year that they stopped using him. So I have never seen him, and I can't wait. I can't wait to see him. Uh, what ride in Harry Potter is a don't miss? Gringotts. What was your worst experience at a park, Disney or Universal? Worst experience? I don't know. There hasn't been one that's like super terrible. I can't there even think been, of like, like a bad experience right now. I mean, we've had bad ones, but not anything that's like, oh, whatever. Like, because you're at Disney. It's not, yeah. it doesn't last forever. I can't even think of one. I'm sure I've had a bad experience at the parks. Like when that lady ran over my foot with her stroller, that was pretty bad. <laughs> but, right. uh, but it wasn't anything that like ruined my whole day or anything. Favorite Disney princess? Um, My favorite Disney princess, I would say, is. I don't know. I always like Aurora. Uh, and Ariel. Oh, I you like Ariel. Ariel? Yeah, yeah. I like the Ariel yeah. animatronic. Uh, favorite show at Universal or Islands of Adventure? I thought uh, we did this. Celestina, right? Yeah. Um. Somebody asked if we were planning on new shirts for Horror Nights, and I think yeah, I think we're probably going to do shirts for like all the holidays. Um. If we, you know, if we have an idea, I guess. Um, Ooh, there's a good one. Is Amphicar worth the money? It all depends on who you are. Yeah. So my uncle and my dad are like super into cars. And this is a vintage 1963 to 1968 Amphicar. Like they are the car. Like they're from the 60s and they're 100% authentic. And it's a neat experience if you are enjoy cars and how they work and driving down the ramp and getting in the water and driving around. It's worth it. But for just every person that walks through the doors, no. I think that we... The only reason why we actually did the Amphicar ride is because we had just gone to the dock and had a, had a boat drink, and then somebody else drove by in an Amphicar, and we were like, oh, man, you know, that would be really fun. So we did it, and that's the only reason why we did it. We weren't planning on doing it. We, there, we met up with a friend, and we all did it together, um, but it was not a planned thing, and I would never plan to spend 120-something dollars on a 20-minute ride, but we did, and we had a good time. And also, uh, we picked Sunset, too, so it was yeah, like a really it good was time. beautiful. Oh, my gosh. If you do it at Sunset, like, after you've, you know, like, you're relaxed, whatever, like, I think it, I think you'll like it. But it is a lot of money. Somebody said, uh, what do you think of the rumored expansion at Hollywood Studios? Yay! What is it? The Pixar Place, uh, oh, yeah. Star Wars Land. I think it looks cool. If they base it off of the, or if it looks similar to the one in Japan, or Tokyo Disney Sea, is that where it is? Uh, Tokyo Disney. If it's yes. off of, it's based off of that one, then I'll love it because it's just, Shanghai, just lights everywhere. No, it was wherever the theme park review was. Oh, okay, then it was Tokyo yeah. Disney Sea. But it was there. It looked like this, like carnival on steroids. It was like so many lights, and it was just like crazy. Like you walk into Woody's mouth in um, their Toy Story Mania. I think it is. It just looks awesome. I think that would be very cool. And there are rumors of a uh, version of. Radiator Springs Racer. Um, somebody awesome. asked, what's our opinion of the poop leaving Animal Kingdom? Um, I think the poop was like exactly, it was, they wanted people to talk about them. They released poop shaped desserts. People went and tried them. People made fun of those people who went and tried them. But like it all, it was just a good time. It was just fun. Yeah. We just, we, we, they didn't taste great, but it was like something to try. I like the elephant one. I like, yeah. if they weren't 
five dollars or whatever they were, I would get an elephant yeah, one again. They were I mean, I know it was a Disney treat, but they were so expensive. Holy crap. Like crap. Hey Rocky. <laughs> uh what's the funniest memory at Disney? Oh, I don't know. Um, the funniest memory? See here's the thing about us and Disney is we, we go, go so, so often. Yeah, it's like hard it's to like, I don't know. Somebody asked what we think of the name change rumor for DHS. And you know what's really funny? The last time we went, everybody kept telling us to have an adventure of a day. Yeah. Like, have a great adventure. And I was like, hey, wait a minute. Wait a <laughs> second. So the rumored name change is Disney's Hollywood Adventure, which I hate. Like, it sounds dumb. But. I don't think it sounds. Well, it's, it just drives me crazy because it's California Adventure. And then Hollywood Adventure, and we're nowhere near like there's no Hollywood. Well, there is a Hollywood in Florida, but it's See, we're not look, in Hollywood, Florida. All these people did want the poop. Yeah. Yeah. Well, see you later, his generation. Mm -hmm. uh, have you ever tried Big Apple Fritas? No. No. Favorite uh, Universal series. What's um, that? I don't know what that means. I don't either. All right. Uh, let's see here. What do you think of the Blue Man Group? It's awesome. If you yeah. if you can go to a show, if you haven't been to a show and you have the opportunity to go, you should. It's really, really fun. Oh, it yeah. was. Have you ever had the kitchen sink at Magic Kingdom? That's what we just showed a picture of it earlier. Yeah, we haven't had it. No, where is it at? Somebody tell it's, me. I thought it was the place by, Kate, like, a not Casey's, but, like, by Casey's. Oh, it is. It's oh, that ice cream parlor. Cream. Is it not a peaches and cream? It might be a peaches and cream, but I think I'm there's not, another one at. I'm not a the, huge fan of like eating a huge tub of ice cream with one other person yeah. that you're not gonna be able to finish, and then you're just gonna be like sick on ice cream all day. Oh, okay, peaches and cream. All right. <laughs> I don't want to do it. Gotcha. Best restaurant in Magic Kingdom. We really enjoy uh, uh, Pinocchio's. Yeah, but it's not like a like a sit down type. It's not like an it's amazing like service. They don't really have a lot of like. Like, they have Crystal Palace, which was good. Oh, yeah. there. That, that was, was good. good. Um, the character meet and greet was awesome. Um, what's your favorite Disney hotel? My favorite Disney hotel, I think, is the Grand Floridian, although I have never stayed there. Um, at the hotels that we have stayed at on Disney property, we didn't have, like, great... It wasn't awesome. So I, I would think that the Grand Floridian would be, like, amazing. I yeah. Think, maybe. <laughs> Animal Kingdom Lodge opinions? It's awesome. We've never stayed there, but it looks awesome. Oh, yeah, it looks beautiful. Shout out to Nick Gibbs. Favorite dish at Be Our Guest? We've had breakfast and lunch. I've not had the dinner there for a long time. We had dinner like when it first yeah. opened. And I know they changed the menu so much. Um, for breakfast, my favorite dish was the one in like the pastry shell. Yeah. And it was like eggs Florentine and like a pastry puff thing. Um, that was really good. And then for lunch, and I don't even think they have it anymore, but it was the steak sandwich. And I believe they took that off the menu. Okay. And it's something else now. It's like not a sirloin steak or something. Um, and then for dinner, I've always wanted to try their other puff pastry dish, which is like shrimp and scallops in like a puff pastry shell. And it looks really good, but I have not had it. Have you ever met Michael Aiello? Yes. I love how much you guys love food. Thank you. I love food. <laughs> uh, if you had to eat some, wait, if you had to eat somewhere, which park would you eat at in what place? Uh, uh, I would say that the drive-in was awesome. The drive-in was again. really good. Yeah, I would totally eat there again. Um, it was at Hollywood Studios. Yeah, it was good, and it was a cool... Do you know your heritage? Yes. I think so. I know my parents. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the Kennedy uh, Space Center is still as popular since the space shuttle left. Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, um, because they're still using it for SpaceX, aren't they? Yeah, they're still all the, all the private <laughs> launches are from there, and also... Uh, you can see the space shuttle, it's there. Like they have it on display, mm. which is pretty awesome. What's your opinion on Epcot? How long do you see yourselves doing the vlogs? We actually started vlogging in September of 2009. So we are coming up on the end of our sixth year in September. Well, it'll be our, the end of our sixth full year of vlogging. Um, so we'll start year seven in mid September. I don't know when we'll stop, honestly. Like, when do you think we'll stop? I have no plans to stop. I don't know. It's crazy because we've been doing it for so long. It would almost feel weird not to do it. I feel like I don't. I don't know. Um, and then they also asked what our highest score on MIB was. Um, my highest score was nine hundred and ninety-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine <laughs> because <laughs> I maxed out while we were stuck once, and that is probably the greatest moment of my life. <laughs> yeah, the highest that I got without being stuck, I think I hit eight hundred thousand one time. 
I, I think the highest I ever got was like 300,000 something. I'm really not good at like point and shoot type games because I always get my, because you're, the way that you are on Men in Black is there's somebody here, somebody here, somebody here. I always get my red, like my gun light mixed up with whoever I'm sitting by. So I think I'm doing really good. And then I look at their number and they have like a million points and I have like one point. So I think I just mix up my dots. Somebody asked, are they getting rid of Indiana Jones? Uh, we've heard rumors. Yeah. Good news is we've also heard rumors of an Indiana Jones dark ride. Which would be awesome. Which would be awesome. Thanks, Will Smith. Why won't you go on Falcon Fury? Um, I just don't want to. It had a lot of, like, like it, it took kind of a long time for them to open it up. They had problems. I just... It's an intimate. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to ride it. But, like, I'm sure if you ride it, you'll have an awesome time. Uh, let's see here. Somebody said, if you come to the UK, where would you go? We'd like to go back to, although we didn't like London, we would like to go back to London because yeah. there's a lot of stuff in London that we want yeah, to do. Yeah. Ooh, Men in Black or Space Ranger Spin? Um, I would okay. say Men in Men Black. Black better, yeah. yeah. Cause it's like, you don't have to like the, you're always pointed in the right direction on Men in Black and you have like, you don't have to be secured down with your gun. <laughs> Somebody asked if that's your favorite shirt. Um, it is. I think it is your favorite shirt. I like this shirt a lot. Yeah. Who is your favorite band or artist? Hmm. That's hard. How do you like answer that? I, I feel like I like so many people and things. I couldn't answer it. Yeah. Somebody asked. Well, I, don't, I, I, I went on to a different question. <laughs> I don't know. I like the style of music that I like. If that, like, I, don't, I don't know if that's like what you're asking, but the style of music that I like is generally like electronic or like indie, like indie electronic. I like that kind of like indie dance music maybe, but yeah. Somebody asked if we like carrots. I do like carrots. Pretty awesome. Um, we have not been to Fort Lauderdale. I I've, haven't. I've been to Fort Lauderdale. Hmm. If you could pick one Disney movie to be a ride, what would it be? Um, I would say, and it's a ride that we don't have, but I think California has, but I would say Monsters, Inc. when they're on, like, the doors, the part with the door. Oh, yeah. Like, where it's, like, I feel like, I know that they, they make movies with rides in mind. They're like, oh, if this movie's huge, this could be the ride. Like, this part. Right. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what I would say. Uh, well, I would definitely want to ride the Roger Rabbit ride, which is already a ride. Oh, somebody said they are moving to Orlando and they need tips. Um, I would say just make sure that while you're here in Orlando, like, I, I don't know where you're from originally, but it's so hot that, like, be sure to, like, have, like, summer-type stuff, summer clothes, summer stuff, because it's hot. Oh, uh, let's see here. Oh, they need a Nightmare Before Christmas ride, which they kind of sort of have, I guess, during oh. Christmas time. But You know what? So I heard an interesting tidbit. So yeah. Disneyland has an overlay on their Haunted Mansion ride for Christmas. Okay. Right? The reason that Orlando can't do that is because there are too many people going through that ride per day that there's no time period that they could shut it down in order to do an overlay. Oh. Whereas there's a slow season at Disneyland gotcha. and there's not a slow season at Disney World. Huh. See you later, Gary. Bye. Oh, somebody wanted to know what we thought about the Frozen ride at Epcot. Ooh, is the Raptor Encounter worth it? Yes. Yeah, it is. Yes, it's it awesome. Is. Uh, by the way... Uh, bye, Thorson TV. Bye, Thorson TV. I, I saw a video of the Hollywood Cat Raptor Encounter. I didn't like it as much as ours. I know everybody was saying that it was better because you couldn't see his legs, though. Yeah, that's the only thing. Like, his legs were in the legs of the costume, whereas ours are not in the legs of the costume. But I'm sure we'll get new legs. Well, I just... I don't know. I feel like it's obviously not real. They're both fake. I think right. they both look great, honestly. Like, I think they both look really awesome. And I'm really excited with like the way that things are going in that um, section of the park. I think that's cool. I had an awesome time. Every time that we went to the Raptor Encounter, I had a really good time. Yeah. Uh, so the, the Frozen ride, what do you think of it? I don't know. I mean, I'm sure it's going to be just like Maelstrom except for Frozen. Yeah. Like... There is <laughs> extra, they, they extended the track to where the theater used to be at the exit. Okay. And so there's like 30, 45 seconds more of ride. I mean, I guess they would need a little bit more because they're telling the full story of the movie, aren't they? Yeah. Okay. Favorite, yeah. favorite drink at Trader Sam's? Um, I would say my favorite drink at Trader Sam's is, 
I really like the pineapple wine. The pineapple wine was really good. Um, and then I also like the hippopotamai tai. I like the spicy so pineapple. Yeah, the spiky pineapple is really good too. And I like the tiki 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 <laughs> rum. Uh, have you ever drunk around the world at World Showcase? No, because no. it's very expensive. It's like usually warm when they have those um, flower and garden and like those type of events. It's usually pretty hot out. Uh, it's also like it would cost us two hundred dollars to drink, probably more actually. Yeah. So we we have not done that. <laughs> uh, in the Magic Kingdom, are they doing any construction that involves rides? No. That's good, right? Plan for a more Disney ish Disney ish shirt design. Um, yeah, hopefully we'll have something like that. We need to get into contact with some more, like, artists. Yeah, digital design type peoples. Uh. Are you excited for John Cruise re-themed restaurant? Yeah, I am actually. Gonna be awesome. Yeah. What are your thoughts on Mako at SeaWorld? It's gonna be awesome because it's a B and M. It's a, a good old fashioned roller coaster. Uh, like no inversions, lots of airtime. When will Fast King day. Kong be opened? Twenty sixteen. Okay. Right? When are when are your hair accessories coming out? I didn't know we were making hair accessories. Why not? I, you might be talking about my friend Kaylee Kill, who I was wearing the hair accessories that she made. Um actually can you give me those ears? Okay, but that's gonna die on the phone. Oh, soon -ish. okay. So we'll we'll probably end it after this. But she's going to um she has an Etsy shop where she sells custom ears. These are the ears that she made for me. And they are Marie ears. I love them so much, by the way. These are so cool. Check them out. I'm gonna put them on. So if these are the accessories you're talking about, they're on Kaylee Kills Etsy shop called Fandomly Designs. And if you want to check out her YouTube, you can just Google um, the YouTube search Kaylee Kill. <clears throat> but yeah. Uh, who's your favorite country singer, Jen? Uh, I don't, I would probably say, um, what's his name? The one Brad Paisley. I like him a lot. He's funny. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is the Raptor encounter staying or is it temporary? It's staying. It, yeah, it'd be silly. Yeah, it'd be silly of them to get rid of it. It's it's doing so well. But all right, we have to because our the um the phone is gonna die, the one that we're doing the periscope on. But thank you guys so much for coming out to the mail blog and like hanging out with us and we got some really cool stuff. Like I can't wait. I don't think I'm gonna actually open these pez. Yeah. I kinda wanna like save them forever. Sweet. Um, but thank you guys so much, and hopefully we will have a mail blog once a month. That's kind of like what we're aiming for. So let us know if you guys like that. Yeah. Thank you guys for coming and hanging out. We love all of you. You're wonderful. So say everybody say bye. 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 Oh, here, blog it. Oh, yeah. We'll oh, yeah, we're going to. Oh, Hold we forgot to blog any of this. I didn't blog any of this. Sorry. Oh, we're not very good at blogging. <laughs> wait, wait. Hold on. Okay, here. They're saying. Oh no! Okay. Is everybody saying bye? Yeah. All right. We did a we did a live mail vlog, and there's everybody. Here's the Periscope. Here's the YouTube. Here's the Twitter. Say bye, everybody. Bye. Whoa! Leave me lots of hearts on the Periscope, everybody. Butts, 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 butts. Let's butts. see. Butts, butts, butts. Oh, we forgot to put that T-shirt out. Oh yeah. yeah, we made a shirt that says butts, butts, butts. Just for the just for the live mail vlog because it's something that only happens in the live mail vlog. So you guys right? get your very own. Shirt. Everybody gets their very own shirt for saying butts. Well, no, we're not giving. Wait. <laughs> no, sorry. I take that back. Don't don't listen to me. So bye, everybody. Yeah, oh. there it is. Everybody's saying bye now. And bye, then, you guys. Bye. We love you. Bye, everybody. Bye. All right, I'm gonna stop. Let's go in here. Let's see. Bye, Periscope. Oh no, it's not letting me close it. There it goes. Okay, bye, Periscope. <laughs> Too much stuff's happening on the Periscope. I can't stop Ooh. it. There it goes. Okay. Bye, YouTube. Bye. Thanks for